In this review, let's do something concrete. We're looking at two Liebherr machines. One is a Liebherr concrete pump, and the second is a Liebherr concrete mixer. Both of these models are made by Conrad, and we start with the smaller one, which is a Liebherr HTM905 concrete mixer. And it's mounted on a Mercedes-Benz Aerox chassis. There's a Conrad logo with the model number on the end flap, and when we open it up, we find that the insides are in that typical Conrad style of foam, which is cardboard backed. That protects the model, and there's also a bag of parts. For the concrete pump, the box is a similar style, and the machine is a 36XXT. And it's also mounted on a Mercedes-Benz Aerox chassis. As we usually find with Conrad truck models, the aerials and mirrors are plastic and they're provided on moulding sprues, so you have to separate them before you can fit them. That means you need to give your fingers a little bit of a workout. The main mirrors are silvered and they fit into the cab by pressing them into preformed holes. And on these models, the mirrors are a tight fit. So it takes a little bit of effort to get them in, but at least that means they won't drop out. Both models have the same Aerox cab, and on the other side there's another big mirror to fit. And also above the door is a smaller mirror, but this one is not silvered. Sometimes it's hard to get a small thing into a hole, but with practice it can be done. The roof aerials are a little bit more tricky because they're flexible, so it's good to use tweezers. The concrete pump also has one other part to fit, and that's a rear light bar. Although it's not really clear why this wasn't fitted permanently in the factory. We start underneath the mixer truck, and there's some detailing at the front, but the steering is purely functionally modelled. There are nice metal tanks, but one thing that is missing is the drive shaft from the engine to the rear axles. And therefore it all looks a bit odd, because actually the rear axles are quite detailed. The cab roof has got some nice shaping, and there's a plastic visor at the front. And the usual detail of mirrors and wipers is provided. The bold lines of the Arox grill does look good. And there is space for a number plate, which on this model is filled with the Liebherr name. The doors have got decently formed door handles and the steps up into the cab are modelled. The detailing of the wheels is also convincing. Behind the cab above the drum motor is a tank with Liebherr written on it. Moving down the chassis we see the metal tanks and decent rear wheels. And there are chute extensions, but these are fixed on the model. The access ladder to the funnel is metal, as is the mixer drum which has a nice finish. The access platform at the top is also modelled in metal. In fact the metal content is high and it includes the chute and the funnel. At the back there are painted lights. The Aerox chassis on the pump has similarities with the concrete mixer, but this one does have a drive shaft so it looks much better. Again lots of the other parts such as the tanks are made in metal, and overall it's reasonably convincing. The Aerox cab is actually the same on both of these models, and those of you that are paying close attention will notice that one difference is that the number plate on this model is left blank, and the Liebherr name is plastered on the front. Behind the cab there are sharp graphics on the big outrigger beams, and there are metal tanks and boxes below. The rear wheels are smart enough, and the big handrails are metal. With the boom folded up we can see the small rivets that are used, and there is a Liebherr graphic on top. The pipework is generally convincing. With the boom up we can see a lot more detail on the truck, and that includes the modelling of the concrete pump itself with its large pistons, and the big walkway platforms have very nice texturing. There are also textures on the foot plates, and the colour match of all the grey parts is very good. The hopper has a nice looking grille, 
And with the boom opened up, we can see more of the intricate connections. The plastic ram jackets have an excellent colour match. And the yellow pipes are made of plastic. Going to the end of the boom, the discharge hose is nice and flexible. We start underneath the mixer truck and the rear axles have some float. And the steering axles at the front are not linked. But the range of movement is very good. And if we move out onto the Cranes Etc Superhighway, the mixer truck rolls reasonably well. We can set the steering to a very good angle, but it does not perform well when the angle is at its maximum. There's some snagging, and the fact that the axles are not linked doesn't help either. Moving on to the mixer drum itself, and you can rotate it, but there's some friction in the bearing, so you can't give it a super spin. And if we go to the back of the truck, the chute can be moved from the transport position and angled in various ways. But there's no height adjustment and you can't lengthen it. One other feature is that the bumper bar can be lowered, presumably so it can back up close to a concrete pump. And here is the concrete pump currently resting. The rear axles are the same as on the mixer, but the steering axle seems to perform a little bit better on this truck. In fact, the chassis on the pump rolls much better than on the mixer, and it feels much more pleasing. It also performs very much better when you set the steering axle. Here we are, we've driven to the site, so let's set up the pump ready for work, and the outrigger beams fold out. They are quite stiff and slightly awkward, and the front outriggers are on telescopic beams. Once they're set, you lower the pads by unscrewing. And on this model, you see visible screw threads. Once the outriggers are out, we can set about raising the boom. And the first boom ram has got a nice stiffness. Once it's partially up, we can then unfold the rest of the sections. And again, all of the hydraulic rams do have some stiffness. So there's no feeling that the boom is trying to do its own thing. This is a multi-section boom and mechanically it performs very well. The loading hopper has an opening lid and after we've primed the pump we can extend it out fully. Of course the articulated boom means that the hose can be placed at different heights or distances from the truck and there's also full 360 degree rotation of the boom. A very nice feature of the model is its overall stability. And that means the boom can be fully extended to one side without tipping the truck over. And the stiffness of the rams is also able to hold the boom up at extended reach. Let's do a little bit of a dim check to see how much the reach is. And from the pivot point it's about 22 inches or 56 centimetres. Of course for display purposes these models look best when they're posed together. <music> The concrete mixer is a typically robust Conrad model. It looks fine and overall is rated as good. The concrete pump model has a better detailed chassis and that's coupled with very nice functionality of the concrete boom. Overall it is rated as very good. Music 